Much of the literature from the 1950s through today has largely referred to the German 352nd Infantry Division, which opposed the U.S. 1st and 29th Divisions on Omaha Beach on D-Day as an elite division. But was it really? Today we'll look at the division in depth to determine if it really was elite. Much of the information in this video comes from the writings of Colonel Fritz Ziegelmann, who was the Chief of Staff for the 352nd Infantry Division at the time of the Normandy invasion. He was captured by the British and after the war wrote about his experiences serving with the 352nd. The division was formed on November 5, 1943 at Saint-Lô, France. Its commander was Lieutenant General Dietrich Kreis. The 352nd had been formed out of shattered German units fighting on the Russian front, most notably the 268th, 321st, and 568th Infantry Divisions. The division assumed that it would be sent back to the Eastern Front and trained its men accordingly. German divisional makeup had changed drastically since 1941, and while the 352nd still retained three infantry regiments, they now had two battalions each, instead of three. At the time of its formation, the 352nd had 12,021 men, of which 6,800 were combat troops. The makeup of the division was as follows. 50% were 18 or 19-year-old conscripts from Hanover in northern Germany. 20% were the so-called Volksdeutsche, German-speaking recruits from Poland and Alsace. 20%, with some sources saying as high as 29%, were Hiwis, former Soviet army troops who were serving in the German army. The remaining 10% were German Eastern Front veterans from the aforementioned shattered divisions. On March 15, 1944, the 352nd was ordered to move from San Lo closer to the area of Omaha Beach. Their first job was to improve the defenses of the German Atlantic Wall to repel the Allied invasion when it came. This included building obstacles, laying mines, improving gun positions, and digging trenches and gun emplacements. On the morning of the invasion, the 352nd was assaulted by elements of the U.S. 1st and 29th Infantry Divisions. Bunkers and emplacements continued to fire at the oncoming Americans until they were exhausted of ammunition. On D-Day, the 352nd Division lost 200 men killed, 500 wounded, and 500 missing. By July 30th, the division was declared no longer fit for battle because of its excessive casualties. These included Lieutenant General Crace, who was mortally wounded in an attack on August 4th and died from his injuries two days later. So was the 352nd an elite unit? The division was very fragmented in terms of its makeup. Poles, Czechs, Alsatians, Germans, Russians, Belarusians, Ukrainians. It must have been hard for all these men from different countries to interact in an effective way being separated by different languages. Also, like most German divisions at this stage of the war, the 352nd as a unit was not well supplied. They were short of everything. In fact, on D-Day, several of the gun positions actually ran out of ammunition. There were experienced veterans that formed the cadre of the division when it was raised, but the bulk of the division were green recruits, or troops that had been trained by the Soviet army. These experienced veterans only made up a very small portion of the division. The 352nd had never been in combat together before D-Day and had no combat experience together as a unit. June 6, 1944 would be their first time fighting together. The division never being in combat before as a unit hardly qualified them as elite. Could the legend of the 352nd have persisted because of the high casualty rate on Omaha Beach? Because Omaha was the most difficult beach to assault, could this have been a reason for some historians to label the division elite? Given the position of the 352nd on top of the bluff, along with the high cliffs American troops had to bypass, made Omaha Beach more difficult to secure, which may have led historians to make the assumption that the beach was defended by crack troops. Finally, could the 352nd have been considered elite because it was being compared to lower quality divisions in the area, such as the 709th and the 716th divisions? The 352nd, by all accounts, was combat capable and was better in quality than some of these other static divisions. 
It certainly was of a higher caliber than these formations, but when compared to other elite German divisions of World War II, such as some of the Waffen-SS or Fallschirmjäger divisions, the 352nd just doesn't measure up. Thank you.